Hi, today I will show you how to paint your bicycle rim. We will paint inside of it. We need just a couple of things. We need wet wipes to remove any dirt, any sanding paper pieces after sanding, some sanding paper, some spray and some paper tape to cover all areas which one we don't want to paint and of course our little assistant it's our dog so first of all we need to make the sanding paper into smaller pieces so now we have a couple pieces of sanding paper we need to make a surface rough for the paint so everything will be more better if we will sand all surfaces it doesn't matter what is uh, like aluminum metal plastic uh, every time if you do something it's better to sand it so we need to sand it We need to sand in there all of them and we need to sand other side and middle two all of the rim the same with the another wheel when sanding process is finished we need to cover all areas with paper tape we will cover areas like these stripes, the tire, the reflectors and some other parts which ones we don't want to paint. I will show you. Okay, now we need to clean the rim from any dust with wet wipes first. And when we clean with wet wipes, we must clean with dry cloth. So we will make the surface dry for the paint. Okay, we are ready for paint. So we will use Holtz Auto Spray paint. It costs just only one pound. And it's a table for metal, wood or plastics. So it will be okay for us too. First, of course, we need to shake this can for about two minutes so the paint will be really good prepared and we need to paint only this way not not like that not like that but only this way so we will not paint any other bicycle parts the same on the front wheel we will paint like this one side and then other side we will not paint like all our, our the wheel because we will paint the forks, we will paint other parts of the bicycle. So we will paint exactly into a little pieces all the time. So this is your example. Shake again. It's better to have a face mask before painting because the paint is not really so good taste. And moving the wheel, then other side. First we will make a first coat of the paint, just as a light coat. Okay, now other side, like we see other side is almost finished too, so just a little. It's 
good the wheel is moving so I don't need to move it myself okay now we go to the another wheel okay we patent first coat on both wheels now we need to wait approximately about 30 minutes to get it dry okay after 30 minutes we can paint a second coat it will be the same like the first one so second now we just need to wait at least 24 hours to let it dry completely and after that we can remove any paper tape and all job is done another thing if you want to make your bicycle more attractive better looking you can remove any stickers like you see there it's original stickers on the bicycle and you can remove it any of them so you can make it your own stickers or you can buy some stickers and apply it on your bicycle uh, any stickers you want so it will make your bicycle look more better and for you and for others so that's all thank you happy watching and there you go this is your final result of our painting the ropes thank you happy watching